you place uh, 1 equals x and negative 1 equals x. So now you just replace all of the x's with 1. So you get 1 minus 15 plus 70 minus 70 minus 1. And for negative 1, you get 1 plus 15 plus 70 plus 70 minus 156. Right, so first off, you go from positive to negative, which is yes. Negative to positive, which is another yes. Positive to negative, which is yes. And negative to negative, which is no. So for the negative one, you go no. Positive, positive, no. Positive, positive, no. And positive to negative, yes. For this, you basically just plug in any numbers and hope you get a remainder of zero. So you're going to use synthetic division and you're going to use negative one. So you bring down one down here and you multiply it by whatever is in this box. So you get negative one. And you add anything like this. So you get negative 16 times negative one is 16. Uh, 70 plus 16 is 86 times negative 1 is negative 86 and negative 70 plus negative 86 is 6 which gives you a remainder of 0. So after you finish your synthetic division you get x cubed minus 16 squared plus 86x minus 156. Next you need to look over here. You need 1 positive zero, so you'll plug in any positive number and do synthetic division again. So in this case, we'll use six. So you bring down the one and you multiply it by six. So you get six. Negative 16 plus six is negative 10. Times six is negative 60, which gives you 26. And next, you multiply by six, which gives you 156 give you a remainder of 0 x squared minus 10x plus 26. Negative 10 for b, which turns to positive 10, plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 4 times 1 times 26 over 2. What we're going to do is we're going to get our equation that we got from our last synthetic division and plug it into the quadratic formula. So we're going to get 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 4 times um, 1 and 26 all over 2. Next off, we're going to simplify this and we're going to get 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 104 over 2. And when you simplify this, you get 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2. And you can't have a negative 4, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it out. So you get 10 plus or minus i to the square root of 4 over 2, which when simplified you get 10 plus or minus uh, 2i over 2, and you simplify this again and you get 5 plus or minus 1i over 1 which is 5 plus or minus i.